Hello, parish leaders. It is my privilege and pleasure to address you today on something that I am very excited about. I'm also very pleased to have Christy Rosenberger with me today. Christy is, of course, the chair of our pastoral council and has been very instrumental in furthering uh, the process that we are going to uh, open up to you today. Remember a couple years ago when the whole parish was asked to fill out a, a survey form? My, it seems like ancient history to me. But there were many of you. I want to say something like uh, 361 parishioners, 381 parishioners, somehow, something like that. They filled out a survey and, and, and handed it in. The survey was taken as long ago as April 2020. The results were received in the fall of that same year. And now to let you know what we have been doing with those results, I'm going to hand it on to Christy. There was a results team that met. We we're the ones that took a webinar to figure out how to decipher all the statistical results. And we met from January to March of 2021, and we put together, it was bright orange, a flyer of what we deciphered to be the most primary results from the survey. From that committee, we formed an envisioning team, which was made up of Father Chuck and myself, Liz Kuhn, Pat Monfrey, Tom Pippins, and Mike Sachs. We've been working since April of 2021 to come up with a purpose, values, a vision, priorities, and goals for Queen of Apostles. The purpose is why we exist. Why does Queen of Apostles exist? The values, those answer how we're going to decide, communicate, and behave. The vision answers where we want to be as Queen of Apostles in three to five years. The priorities answers what we're going to do to accomplish in the next two years. And the goals help to achieve the priorities that we've set. So for our parish moving forward, we're really excited and pleased after all of the hard work to present this plan to you. As Christy has outlined the uh, basic uh, steps of our plan, it is now time for us to present, to reveal uh, the work of our envisioning team. And so we start with the purpose. The purpose of Queen of Apostles is to gather people into a sacramental community of love that seeks to grow our relationship with Jesus and to share that relationship with others in love. Our values at Queen of Apostles, what we felt were the strongest values of our parishioners, humble service. We are humble, compassionate, kind-hearted, and giving servants. Steadfast faith. We persevere through challenges, strengthened through worship. And heartfelt welcome. We provide a place where people are valued.
Next is our parish vision. We envision Queen of Apostles as a community of disciples under the protection of Mary, where, one, everyone is welcome. Two, everyone experiences Jesus in a joyful, life-changing way. Three, everyone is nourished and healed in the living and loving presence of Jesus. Four, everyone is witness to Jesus's love and mercy through acts of charity and justice and encouragement of people on their faith journeys. Five, everyone celebrates their connection to the Trinity and each other through our worship, prayer, and the sacraments. Our worship then sends us forth to build the kingdom of God. Now we have our priorities. There are three priorities, and under each one of those three are two to three goals, which we would like to commit ourselves to achieving. Priority one, help people grow and be formed as disciples. And the three goals under priority one, the first, have a parish-wide event to awaken discipleship. Goal two, have X amount of people attend training on discipleship through available resources, things such as Galilee U and other resources that are available to us. And goal three, create additional internal small groups and have a certain amount of people participate in those small groups. Priority two, foster a fresh understanding of the importance of the Mass. And there are two goals under priority two. The first, offer formation opportunities, again, through available resources that we have. Things like Come to Me, Gift of Sunday, Galilee U. And goal two, increase our Mass participation in the first year to pre-pandemic levels. Increase it by 5% in two years and increase it by 10% in three years. Priority three, encourage and equip people to share their faith. And under priority three, we have three goals. The first, have people attend training on evangelization through available resources. Goal two, give opportunities for people to share their story through video, talking, writing, interviews, first internally within our parish and then externally. And goal three, create a support group for people for evangelizing. And now that we've presented our plan, we're asking the commissions to engage in these priorities and goals and provide feedback on the following questions. And we're asking for the feedback to be back by May 1st, and you can submit it to me. The first question, 
How do you see your commission engaging in each of the goals? Number two, what specific strategies come to mind for reaching these goals? Number three, are there any ideas about how to enhance any of these priorities or goals? Number four, what resources would we need and or have available to address these priorities and reach these goals? And are there any considerations that need to be kept in mind for our upcoming budget? Five, what other groups or individuals should be involved in reaching these goals? One of the things that has been obvious to us from the beginning is that no one priority or goal is going to be the, the responsibility of only one group or one commission. They are all going to be, you know, over several groups uh, and several commissions. Um, and so we are looking forward to truly working together across commission lines uh, for the, uh, the, the, the meeting of these goals. I am so proud of the work of this envisioning team thus far. We have taken it to a good level, but now in order for it to proceed, we need your feedback, particularly from our commissions of the Pastoral Council. And so we ask you to please take these goals and priorities now and, uh, and, and reflect upon them and wrestle with them and give us your feedback. This parish has gone through a lot and we have a lot to be proud of. One of the things we will soon be celebrating, this summer in fact, is our 25th anniversary of being called Queen of Apostles Parish. I see this endeavor uh, of the priorities and goals that you have received today to be one of the turning points in the life of this parish so that in 25 more years we will see continued growth and development of this community of disciples as we reach and continue to strive to build the kingdom of God on earth. Thank you and thank you Christy. Thank you. Thank you everybody.